time. Come on. Hey, we are for the soul of our nation. We are in a fight for our kids and our grandkids, a fight that we can never imagine. I believe wholeheartedly Donald Trump and Butler County's J.D. Vance are the last chance to save our country politically. I'm afraid if we lose this one, it's going to take a civil war to save the country, and it will be saved. It's the greatest experiment in the history of mankind. And if we come down to a civil war, I'm glad we got people like uh, Schmidt and the Bikers for Trump on our side. Hey, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Racha Kodash, double honor to the apostles and others of Great Millstone, peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the house of David, which is the elect. Um, so, real quick, I just came across this uh, video uh, of a Ohio uh, senator, if I'm not mistaken, um, or governor. Uh, I'm not too, exactly too sure, but I know he's from uh, uh, Ohio. And basically, he's doing a, um, you know, a speech and, you know, and when you when you hear it and when you even go to the um, comments in the comment section, it's, uh, you know, it sounds like an, an, an inciting for a, a type of physical reaction if Trump and Vance does not, um, you know, win this uh, upcoming election, which, you know, all, from a surface level. It, it all, you know, points to and appears that Trump is going to win. But, you know, ultimately, we got to wait and see, you know, what Yahweh Bashim Awashai has, um, you know, in store. Because as we see, you know, there's a lot of uh, moving parts, a lot of things that are happening, a lot of things that a few months ago, um, you know, nobody thought would happen. But then they do happen. Or, you know, some people might have thought. But as, you know, time progresses, we see that Yahweh Bashim Awashai is doing um, you know, he's working, you know, he's doing uh, things that typically are not common, you know, uh, especially here in Babylon the Great. You know, um, it's not every day that a presidential candidate, you know, gets a quote unquote attempted, uh, you know, uh, a deletion happening onto him. And then it's not every day that a uh, acting president or current president that is up for reelection uh, drops out. For you know, from the campaign, so we can clearly see we are in some uh, you know times like never before, as Yahweh Shai said was going to take place on the earth. Okay, so just for that alone, um, you know, <laughs> as the saying goes, we have to expect the unexpected. All right, and and knowing that, you know, knowing the time of um, that we're in, right, knowing it's that knowing it's high time that we must wake up, out, wake up out of sleep, right, knowing that. Things that are happening right now are, you know, uh, uh, monumental um, shifting. OK, it, it can go from one minute or one day to the next where things are, are quote unquote normal. And to, you know, the next day something happens that um, is completely, you know, left field, completely abnormal. All right. And that is why the scriptures uh, speaks about uh, being a pilgrim upon the earth, you know, not being tied down, not being too uh um you know too entangled with the affairs of this of this world because we know that things are are moving fast so we have to stay mindful on prophecy right we have to stay mindful on the kingdom of heaven because as the scripture says that everything that uh uh the lord is going to shake you know once more the heavens and the earth you know and everything that can be shaken um you know will be removed and that's ultimately this kingdom, right? This kingdom is not built upon a solid foundation. It's not built upon, you know, uh, um, the 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 ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, right? The the righteousness of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Therefore, it's not a unmovable kingdom, all right? Yahweh Shai's kingdom will be the uh, unmovable kingdom. But in order for that kingdom to, you know, be brought forth. This kingdom has to, you know, have its end, and we're seeing that we're seeing those things happen right now. So, I'm gonna play this real clip, uh, clip real quick, and then you know we'll uh, discuss on it. Fight! 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 I believe wholeheartedly, Donald Trump and Butler County's J.D. Vance are the last chance to save our country politically.
I'm afraid if we lose this one, it's going to take a civil war to save the country, and it will be safe. So, as you just heard him, right? He, he once again, he's telling him to fight. You know, uh, you know, putting out them enchantments. All right, just like how Donald Trump did when you know after his attempted uh you know deletion, he he uh, put up his fist and said fight, fight, fight. And you know a lot of even when that happened, a lot of uh, people here in Babylon the Great they thought that you know this was the moment <laughs> that was going to be the turning point where uh, you know these uh, what they call it the the the, the right okay the uh, the so called Republicans or the MAGA. That they they thought it was time that they were going to have to you know physically um, you know do something in order to save their country. Okay, so now we're hearing that uh, mantra. All right, we're hearing that 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 uh, call to fight a lot more up you know leading up until this um, you know so called election. And as you heard him say that if if this is the last chance you know uh, for them to save the country. And he said that only a civil war, if they don't basically win, only a civil war would be able, would, would have to take place in order for the country to be saved. So, you know, once again, it's, it's shaping up to appear as though Trump is going to win, but we ultimately know that, um, you know, Yahweh Bashim al Shai has the, all of this, you know, mapped out and it's the, the end is already written. And something I was, uh, you know, just thinking about is the fact that if, let's say, if, right, they uh, uh, have Harris, right, Harris and whoever her vice president is, win the election, the 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 Trump supporters, the the right, they're not going to accept that as a valid, um, you know, win. All right, they already think that the last one was uh, rigged, right? They already think that you know the one that happened in 2020 was a, a scam so if they see it you know if they if they have an election and it comes out that uh kamala harris wins it, it, it this place is going to go up in an uproar all right it's going to completely completely just uh, uh fall apart it might fall apart that same that's like soon as they announce her as the victor because america Babylon the Great and these Edomites are not going to go for Kamala Harris <laughs> to be the the president of the United States for the next four years. They, they don't even want Trump, let alone a woman. And then let alone, even though she is not a, a, a Israelite, but she perceives and she plays, you know, uh, uh, to her. I think her mom is is Caribbean. So she plays to that uh, side. Um. As being a you know a, a so-called black woman or a woman of color, so that is you know uh, uh, even more of an a reason for these um you know Edomites and the, you know that the right the so-called uh, the right wing um to to be an uproar. Okay, so they already like I said they are telegraphed and they already uh, uh, pushing that vibration out that a civil war would have to take place if if they don't win. Right. If the so-called, you know, uh, Republicans and Trump and his his side doesn't win. All right. And a lot of people are are in that mindset. A lot of people, when I say the people, I'm talking about the, the average citizens. They they are down with that. All right. And remember, they already wanted to uh, physically do, you know, take up arms to stop the, the migrants from coming in to um, America through the southern border. You see? So it's already uh, um, it's already in their mind to physically, uh, you know, try to instate or put put Trump, you know, as their king back in office. OK, so we are definitely in the time of, uh, as the scripture says, you know, the time of uh, trouble. All right. And a lot of people, they are, you know, they're seeing these things take place, but they got this mindset like, oh, it won't it won't go that far. Right. It is getting bad. But it's not, it won't get that bad. But here it is, uh, six, seven months ago, you didn't think somebody was going to try to take out Trump, right? <laughs> you didn't think Biden was going to drop out of the election four months before, you know, the, the before the election. So things are pro progressively getting uh, bad. And these, um, 
these these things are just additives on two. It's like I always say, it's like the 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 game Jenga, right? When you keep pulling out a you know the blocks until you pull out that last block until everything falls. The all of these things that are happening are just blocks being taken out of that of that uh you know stature of blocks, and eventually is going to happen to where the Lord has that one particular block gets pulled and then the whole thing comes uh, crumbling down. All right. And to the point where it won't be uh, uh, healed. All right. As it says um, in Jeremiah, the 51st chapter, Jeremiah chapter 51, uh, verse six, it says, flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity. For this is the time of Yahweh's vengeance. He will render unto her irrecompense. OK, and, and being delivered out of Babylon is speaking, um, you know, spiritually. Right. Not being tied to this place, not having your heart, you know, your 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 treasure stored in this uh, in, in, this, in this place, because we are in a time where the Lord is about to recompense her. All right. According to his vengeance. So you don't want to be somebody that has this mindset that, oh, I want America to continue to last. I want you know, uh, uh, my businesses or my my wealth to 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 increase and and you know and, and things get better here because as the scripture says, um, everyone that is joined unto her should be thrust through, right? Isaiah thirteen, verse fifteen, it says, "Everyone that is found shall be thrust through, and everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword." Okay, so you want to be you know, although we're here in Babylon the Great, we're in America, you want to be the ones that the Lord sees that you're not tied to this place. You're not an ally spiritually, you know, uh, um, to Babylon the Great. All right. You have stored your treasures in heaven. You have uh, seeked for the kingdom to come. OK. And these people that are in this mindset to fight, fight, fight. Well, the scripture tells you. That there was going to be Egyptian against Egyptian. Isaiah 19 verse 2. It says, and I will set the Egyptian against the Egyptian. And that's the thing. <clears throat> excuse me. That's the thing. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is in control of all of the spirits, man. Right? He is in control of the left side and the right side. He's in control of, you know, uh, 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 everybody. <laughs> you know, just to sum it up, he's in control of, of, of everybody. He's even in control of of uh, the elites, okay? They're the ones who think that they are going to be, you know, uh, uh, using all of this political division and, you know, uh, instability and chaos, right? They think they're going to use all this to their advantage and be able to, like the phoenix, come and rise up out of the smoke and create their, um, their agenda, fulfill their agenda of being, you know, absolute gods on the earth. But as the scripture says, <laughs> the deceive and the deceiver is his, right? And you can do nothing against the truth, but only for the truth. So that's why in verse two, it says, and I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. Yeah, you may have these elites that uh, as they do work, you know, uh, order out of chaos, right? They, they cause things to happen, cause problems, cause dissensions, cause confusion so that then they can come with their order, Right. They can come with their solution. But in all actuality, they're also uh, in a trick bag. As the scripture says that the, the trap that they set is going to fall upon them. You know, is, they're going to fall upon it themselves. Right. Um, is it seven or is it nine? Let me see. Yeah, here we go. Uh, second. I mean, Psalms chapter seven, verse. Um, I'm gonna start at 14. It says, behold, he travaileth with iniquity. And have conceived mischief and brought forth falsehood. And that's how uh, these devils work. Right? That's how Esau, Eden works. And speaking about the elites. Okay? They conceive mischief. They do things, you know, uh, hiddenly. Right? They do things uh, subtil subtly, like the serpent in the garden. And for, you know, uh, uh, for an alter alternative, alternative motive. Right? And the way that... They play on the minds is that they cause cause situations to where the actual people think that this is 
the uh, the the best solution, right? They think that the civil, you know, uh, having to f forcefully uh, uh, take <laughs> take back the government is the only solution, the only way for them to uh, uh, get their freedom and get their their rights and and their rightful position back, you know, uh, uh, and get America back to where it needs to be. But uh, all in all, that's exactly what these devils want, right? They want them to they want these people to have this mindset that they need to physically do something cause this chaos because it's not going to, it's going to be the left so-called left versus the so-called right all right nation against nation right uh, uh social class wars you're going to have all these things taking place and people the actual civilians are, are are that are that are within this fight they actually are thinking that they're doing the right thing right <laughs> they thinking that this is the 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 right thing that they got to do on the left, and they thinking that this is the right thing that they got to do on the right. And the problems and the enemies are you know each other. In actuality, it's the elites that is that is conceiving this mischief and bringing forth this the, these falsehoods, these lies that people are believing, people are are buying into. That is why, as it says in Jeremiah, flee out of the midst of Babylon, deliver every man his soul. Don't be don't. <laughs> That, that is why us being in the truth is the best position to be in because we see above it and we see far beyond all of this, you know, uh, uh, smoke and, and mirrors that these devils is doing, right? All, all of this, the, these sleight of hands and these wiles, all right, this, this crafty, cunning uh, arts that Esau is using, these sorceries and, and enchantments, we see right past that, okay? And those things don't, don't affect us. All right, it it really only affects the the zombies, the one that are asleep. Right, verse fifteen it says he made a pit and digged it, and is fallen into the ditch which he made. His mischief shall fall shall return upon his own head, and his violent dealings shall come upon shall come down upon his own pate. So, the mischief that he's doing, the the order out of chaos, the problem reaction solution, all of these. Um, all of these uh, tricks and, and enchantments that these devils are doing to bring forth once again their enterprise is is it's all going to fall upon their own their own head. All right, the the traps that they're setting, right, to get people into this type of uh, uh, vibration and this spirit is ultimately going to be for their own detriment. Right, so that's why when we go to back to Isaiah. 19 verse 2, and I will set the Egyptian against the Egyptian, and they shall fight every one against his brother, and every and every so like and every one against his neighbor, city against city, and kingdom against kingdom. So it is Yahweh Bashim Shai through the angels that are are making this commotion happen. Right? Hey, the scripture says that there was going to be Yahweh Shai already warned that there was going to be commotion, right? There was going to be commotions. Um, in, in during these last days, Luke chapter 21, verse nine, uh, nine, it says, but when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified for these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by and by. And when you go into that word commotion, it says what instability, a state of disorder, disturbance, confusion. See? In what is ultimately a civil war, it's a, it's a your your country is in a state of instability. It's in a state of disorder, and it's a state of confusion, a to, a, to, a tomo, tumultuous. See. So once again, this is a, a rhetoric that you know, starting with the elders and apostles of GMS on down through the Holy Spirit, we have been warning about for years, man. OK, for years, we've been warned about there was going to be civil war in, in America, a race wars in America. And people, you know, uh, uh, just just turned the other cheek. They ignored it. They thought that something like that could never happen in America. We are too civilized. We're a first world country where, you know, we have, you know, uh, uh, camaraderie amongst each other. All of that. <laughs> all of that, once again, was was a, uh, um, a falsehood, man. All right. And you're seeing how the Lord is systematically bringing down Babylon the Great, uh, unraveling all of the things that people thought, you know, made America a, a, a stable country. All of those things are just becoming unraveled and pulled out of that Jenga, you know, the, the Jenga stand. 
to the point where now you're just left with shameful spewing upon your glory. You're left with being, uh, um, you know, your your wickedness. All right, being seen the as it says in Isaiah 47, there is no throne sitting down upon uh, upon the dust. Okay, people are at their wits end financially. Okay, uh, mentally. So you have, and then now you have the, uh, and now you have the actual leaders, right? The your officials telling you to fight. <laughs> Look at him; he's saying it hard too. Remember, these are your modern day uh, um, senate of the ancient Babylonian, uh, ancient Roman Empire, right? That's why they call it senators, right? But these are your modern day. Um, uh, I don't want to call them him himself. Like your your Caesars, but they're your rulers, right? So when now if you have your rulers conjuring up a spirit on one side to tell you tell you to fight, they're not telling you to fight an an external enemy, right? They're not talking about China or or Russia or Iran. They're talking about your actual next door neighbor, okay? Because because we live in a melting pot, and yeah, you do have some states that have. You know that are more left leaning or more right leaning, but every state have has both Democrats and Republicans within that state. Okay, and and that can actually be within your city, actually be within your community. So when now you have in your officials, you know, uh, on one side telling you to fight, 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 and saying that if we lose, then only a civil war can uh, uh, save the country. And um, and 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 if and if Harris does win, what do you think they're going to do? Okay, what do you think that the right the Rep the, the Republicans are going to do? All right, you had, and we always say they like to they like to do this predictive programming, uh, purge the election year. You see, and when you watch purge the election year, it was actually a woman that was the uh, president. You know, on the so-called in that movie um, that was run for president as a so-called, you know, uh, Democrat. And all right. And he was going against the uh, the Republican, so-called Republican that was for the, uh, you know, the new founding fathers. Right. She, that the president on the left or you know, on the right in the movie, he was basically with the whole uh, purge and, and the ideology of, you know, the, the new founding fathers. OK. So you had that. You had the movie Civil War just came out, right? So it's been, it's been something that is already in the in the in the atmosphere, right? It's in the the vibration of civil war and commotion. Um, you know, uh, disorder, and instability is already here in Babylon the Great, and Yahweh Shai said that these things were going to take place, right? In, in the NLT, it says, "When you hear wars and insurrections, don't panic." All right, he's speaking to us. Don't panic when you hear these things. Yeah, they sound, you know, uh, uh, you know, to the to the flesh. It sounds, you know, fearful. It sounds like, oh shit, what are we gonna do? How are we gonna survive this? How are we gonna, you know, escape escape this? But remember, Yahweh Bashim Awashai is the author of these things, right? And the scriptures tells us that what the Lord knows how to. Let me pull it up. Not pull it up. Just because this is the mindset that we have to be in. To hell with. You know what these people in this world think that how they're going to survive and what they're going to do in case of you know something going down. Our mind is stayed on Yahweh Bashim Shot. Second Peter chapter two verse nine it says, "The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptations and to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished." Okay, so Yahweh Bashim Shot knows how to deliver us. From all of these things, he knows he's going to know how to deliver us from a state of, of disorder, right? Of instability, of, of these commotions. That's why he said, don't panic. Don't make haste in a time of trouble, but continue to trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh and he will, you know, uh, deliver you. Okay. And that is the message unto the elect. That is a message unto the hopeful elect that although these things are taking place, although they're right here, although we see them, how they're formulating and and them shortly, you know, about to take place and come to pass. Don't be afraid, man. All right. But keep your trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shot. So I ended up here in Psalms 91, verse 10. It says, let's start at nine. It says, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation, 
There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in the way, in Salaki, to keep thee in all thy ways. You see? So we have angels that uh, are being charged to, to watch over us, to keep us from any of the evils that are coming, uh, that are here. All right? So, you know, with that, Lord willing, I just want to touch on that. This is edifying unto the elect, giving all praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rakakadash. Shalom.